guys, it's Grace from Grace Gets Gastric. Today is Tuesday, October 30th, and I am here today with my week 43 post-op VSG update. To start with stats again, my name is Grace. I'm 5'8", 27 years old, and on January 2nd, 2018, I had the vertical sleeve gastrectomy or VSG weight loss surgery. My highest weight ever recorded was 354 pounds in May of 2017. I was required by my insurance to do a six month medically supervised weight loss diet. And over the course of that six months, I lost 35 pounds. So my starting weight day of surgery was 319 pounds. Last week, I came at you with a weight of 308.9. And this morning I weighed it, sorry, 208.9. And this morning I weighed in at 206.6. So that is a weekly loss of 2.3 pounds, a loss since surgery of 112.4 pounds, and a loss since my highest weight of 147.4 pounds. Another great loss, that is the third week in a row that I've lost over two pounds in a week, so that is great. I'm 10 weeks out this week, uh, sorry, 10 months out um, on, I believe, Friday, so the fact that I have had such great losses this far out as I get farther and farther down, I'm really happy with that. Um, yeah, <laughs> yeah, I'm I'm really happy with the loss. I'm getting really close to my next goal. I think it's like 204.5, I wanna say, um, which would be 75% of my excess body weight lost. Insane, <laughs> um, since surgery. And super close to Wonderland. I'm <clears throat> less than seven pounds away from that goal. Uh, so yeah, crazy. I'd love my low, my, uh, low key goal would be to get there by the end of the year. So I basically have two months to lose seven pounds with how I've been doing so far. I think that's not unreasonable, but, um, we'll see. Uh, speaking of rewards for losing weight, um, you'll know if you've seen my goal video that I have milestones I'd like to hit along the way down to um, whatever my ultimate goal is. And as I hit those milestones, I give myself little rewards. So my last um, milestone, I believe, was 219 pounds, which is 100 pounds down since surgery. And I just finally um, got did my... Um, reward for hitting that point, which was to get a facial. So I had that this weekend. It was great. Um, I did like a little what I eat in a day, follow me around kind of thing on that day. So you'll see more about that once I finish editing it and posting it probably next week because I have this video, I have my October favorites and I have my monthly video all to edit this week. So I don't know if I'll have time to finish editing the other one. Anyways. Um, so yeah, that was great. Um, last week I talked to you guys about how I'm doing the couch to 5k and how I hate running. I just got done with my workout this morning and it was better than it has been. Um, the only thing that I did differently was that I didn't do strength training at all today. Um, normally I do strength training first to maximize my gains and then I do my cardio. But today there were so many people there that all the things that I normally do were like really crowded and I just didn't feel like dealing with it. So I just did car straight cardio. I don't know if that made a difference in um, the fact that it kind of felt a little bit easier. Uh, today was an eight minute run, a five minute walk and an eight minute run, um, which was the longest runs I've had to do so far. And I was okay with it. Like... And my headphones died after the second run, after the first run. So I had to do most of it with no headphones as well. And you already know, I think running is boring. So guess how boring it is when you can't even listen to music or YouTube videos. Super boring. But it felt like a little bit easier. And as I've told you before, um, I don't like doing things that are hard. So the easier things are, the more I like it. So I don't know, it was okay. I almost felt like I could have just ran through the walking time even. Not quite the whole time, I don't think, but yeah, I don't know. We'll see. I'm still sticking with it. Um, I'm running at like a 5.3 pace on the treadmill, which I was feeling kind of bad about, like it wasn't fast enough. But then I was thinking, like I looked it up and that's like an 11, 20 minute mile. So that is great. <laughs> um, like a 15 minute mile is what 
um, I was kind of shooting for. So like if I could do that for my whole 5k, that would finish, get me finished in like 35 minutes. And my goal for my 5k is to like do it in 45. Again, a 15 minute mile. So yeah, not bad. Anyways, uh, sorry, I, I'm filming this in the morning when I normally film these, um, this after, in the afternoon because um, my roommate and I are going out to eat. Uh, it is Seattle Restaurant Week, which is, there's, it happens twice a year. It's one of my favorite things ever. And it was really bummed. It happens in April and October. And in April, we didn't do it because I just couldn't eat enough to make it worth it. Because you go, basically, like, all these really nice restaurants offer um, a set price for a three-course meal. So appetizer, dinner, dessert. And um, for, like, each one, you have, like, three different options. And so it's a really good way to, like, have kind of a tasting of... Um, of like expensive nice places for a little for more reasonable price. I think it's like $35 for all three courses, which is like really good because these are like nice restaurants. Anyways, uh I'm definitely not going to be able to eat three courses. <laughs> um but I'll be able to eat like a little bit more than I could 3 months out, so it's like a little bit more worth it and I plan on like taking stuff home. Um and like they're nice restaurants, so it's not like usually very big portions. Because I remember the last, one of the times I went, or like the last time I went before surgery, like even with three courses, I was I could have eaten more. So yeah, with my smaller stomach, we'll see. Anyways, I'm excited, but um, I'm doing that after work, so I don't really have time to film. So I'm filming this in the morning, and that's why I'm spacey. Gosh, I'm like spacey. Um, but one thing I did want to mention is I was talking about this with. Um, I think Ruthie and Tammy. I don't know. I was talking with someone about how I have this sort of weird, I don't know if it's like a fear of losing weight, but I've got like weird conflicting feelings as I continue to lose. Um, I think it's just, it's so beyond my like imagining. Even getting to this point has been so crazy, but like I still feel very, like, I, I, there's definitely still, like, a lot of meat on my bones, uh, if you will. And so it's, like, I don't necessarily feel like a thin person, which I'm not upset about because, like, I don't, I don't know if I could ever mentally see myself as a thin person. And I think that's, like, kind of freaking me out. Like, I'm getting really close to, um, being under 100 pounds, um, and like I know, like, based on like what I've seen of other people's like skin flicks and stuff before they get surgery, for the, before they get plastics, like I kind of know what I generally want my skin to be looking like in terms of loose skin versus like still filled with fat. But it's just it's like it's just very hard for me to imagine what I'm gonna look like. And there's this kind of I don't know if it's like fear of the unknown that is making me, and I don't I don't think I'm like sabotaging necessarily or anything like that. It's just. I guess I'm like not as jazzed about it as I expected. Like I still want to lose weight and like I'm still doing what I need to and I'm still like happy to see losses on the scale. But there's like this weird kind of mental block almost where I don't know, the, the like it's just I don't I can't imagine life at like 180 pounds. Like right like that might be my ultimate goal. That might be where I end up staying. You know, I'm thinking 170 to 190, somewhere in there. And that is pretty close. I don't know. It's weird. It's weird. I've got some, like, weird feelings um, that I don't really know how to articulate. And, I, yeah, I guess I just expected that... Like, obviously, I'd want to be losing the weight. And I do want to lose the weight. But it's weird because I think I just, I've gotten to a point where a lot of the big things I kind of wanted to accomplish as far as NSVs, like, there's definitely still a ton more. But, like, I'm pretty happy with where I'm at. And I'm, like, fitting into normal clothes and, um, like... I don't know, guys. I should have, like, thought this through more before filming. But, yeah, I just wanted to say, like, it's kind of 
kind of this weird it's not even like it's not a bad thing either you know I it, that's why it's hard to describe it it's not like I'm upset I mean there's the underlying anxiety that like follows me around everywhere like a cloud of uh but it's more just like this like thoughtfulness or like pen, you know like just this sort of hmm that that I'm kind of dealing through dealing through working through dealing with uh so that's like, it, like it's not like I'm upset or sad or like depressed about it you know like or you know really conflicted or anything like that it's just there's there's more of a pause as I continue to lose weight wherever my mental space I think it's just like and maybe it's just me realizing that you know I have stuff to work through and I'm just reevaluating uh, or continuing to evaluate but ooh, light change um but yeah I don't know that's kind of where I'm at <laughs> sorry guys this is why I don't film in the morning I'm like dead uh anyways Halloween is tomorrow I am doing nothing uh <laughs> I just was too lazy to make plans well my sister's coming over and her and my roommate and I are gonna get Chinese food and watch Hocus Pocus so <laughs> it'll be fun I hope you guys have awesome plans um, I hope you guys have enjoyed your October November is coming up and it is a crazy month for me but it's also a good month it's the month of my birth which is awesome and Thanksgiving which is always a shit show um, so I can't wait for that and lots of stuff in my other community online and real life work craziness so it's just gonna be great November is gonna be a month and the year is almost over and it's just extra weird for me the year being over because like I got my surgery at the beginning of the year which I think is great I really liked that I got it at the beginning of the year but it's like not only is it the end of like a regular year but it'll be like a year since I had surgery mind blown um but we still got two more months before that happens anyways uh this video could be so much shorter <laughs> I may cut some of this stuff out because Y'all need to listen to me ramble, but I hope you guys are doing well. And um, I will be coming at you soon with my month, 10 month post-op video with pictures and measurements and all of that good stuff. So look out for that later this week. Bye guys.